Hi there, Dav here, and this is a quick audio test for the Plantronics Gamecom 388, a quick mic test. I've just plugged it in, got it to work. It was a little fidgety at first, but we got it to go um, where we want it. That's not what we want. There we go, we want to be player. We want to be the one player. Anyway, um... So I just got the mic to work, it was a little fidgety, it didn't show up, I had to, like, um, look at unplugged and such devices, if you right-click on your recording devices, you should see that there. Boop. And I'm just going to see how clear the sound is. Um, in studio quality, I've listened in playback already a little to the recording at in studio quality so in 192 etc kbps there is um quite a bit of hissing this part has been recorded at 192 kbps this part was done at 96 kbps this is dvd quality at 48 kbps and finally this is just the 44,000 variant I've reduced it all the way up to CD quality, which is your standard 44K, and there Race. it sounded pretty okay to me, a little bit more popping than I'm used to because there's no wind guard or anything, it's just a plain microphone, so probably some problems with that, but my old mic was having that as well, so it's really not that much of an issue. I just want to quickly find out if whatever I'm saying now is coming up clear and without too much hissing. The, the chord is still a bit short, but I'm guessing it will be doable at some point to just deal with the, the, the chord comes in from an uh, audio plug, so at 3.5, oh, forgot how to play this game. So from a 3.5 jack and not a USB like the previous thing that I tested and just wasn't good enough. How am I doing? Oh, I think that's good, right? Oh, I. There we go, that's how we use that. I really haven't played this game in a while. And I have no idea why I picked two tests. Probably just because it's easy, I'm guessing. Oh, you could do stunts in this game, it's true. I wasn't doing them. You can do like flips and stuff from jumps. There we go, and you get boost for that. But I forgot, I used to know a lot of courses. Boom, haha. <laughs> Boom. Okay. So, the Plantronic, it's it's a bit more expensive, but I read a ton of good reviews. So I thought it would be... And I also listened to some mic tests from other people. And it sounded alright. Um, I don't know why I have more um, pops, some more sounds than others. Likely because I have a very breathy voice, because um, my nose has been destroyed when I was a youngin and so I tend to breathe subconsciously through my mouth a lot. I try I, I did try my best to stop that as much as possible because I also have asthma and it's not ideal for me to do that. But yeah, fortunately if you want some trivia, my um, nose and sinuses were stomped into oblivion back when I was 15 years old because I was wearing a mohawk, I had a mohawk haircut and it was not up to the liking of some people who took a lot of offense to that. It's a very personal story and I'm sorry about that, but just making conversation really.
first place. Yeah. Total War 2 doesn't suck that much now, does it? Oh, oh no. Oh. Ah, uh, crud. Am I? Oh no, that's, that's bad. Stop it. Well, now I'm third, so it's not that good. I remembered how to do these continued drifts pretty well, though, because they're not super easy. You have to, like, kind of... Uh, yeah. Well, just when I said that, I messed it up so you can see why it's not that easy. Mm. <laughs> messed up the hot rod. Because I'm dumb. And I wasn't paying attention because there was also... Ah! A male coming in, which normally I take out when I'm recording, but again, I want to kind of have some distractions and see how the mic fares against that in the most unoptimal situations, such as an open window with a bunch of traffic and such, and yada yada, so I can see how much background it picks up to see if that's eventually a problem because the my last microphone did very well on reducing that as much as it could it wasn't perfect because I mean yeah awesome oh it's a melee all-star that's that's kind of crappy I like that the ones who shoot a bunch well seconds all right it's not about it's not about being first or anything it's about Seeing how clear the sound is. The yeah. Location unlocked. Thank you. So yeah, the Plantronics Gamecom 388 headset mic test. Sound is clear enough if you want a, ver a verdict so from the 20-ish minutes that I've played with it. It has a handy little volume button right at the base here um, ears are bigger than I thought it would be but they're square so they might be a little bit of an issue and um, something very important it's very comfortable fit much more than the other ones um, it might be a little loose for some people I don't know how you prefer that but I prefer one that doesn't snag me so as much sure. and this one certainly doesn't but yeah, it's not really the full review, it's just the mic test thing, so there we go, we'll see if that's any good, bye.